Thanks, Tom. 624, you know, despite what he said last time, I'm not coming back on the air if Belmondo is there. He's here anyway. It's the jokes. I come back for the jokes. Really? No. We haven't started yet, <laughs> have we? <laughs> Steve Weiser joining us from the Erie Philharmonic this morning. We've got some good stuff coming up. Tell us about it. So it's one of the cool things we're doing with the theater is we've obviously brought some of the new things back into the Warner Theater. You have a 1930s movie palace that we've totally renovated from the back of the stage. But one of the neatest things is we're adding an original instrument back into the theater. On next Friday night, we'll be debuting the brand new Wurlitzer pipe organ, which is literally an organ that was taken out of the theater and we're putting something like it back in the theater. Th that has to be an extraordinary amount of work. It's a lot of work. Yeah. It's, we've been working on it for years now, and the culmination will be next Friday night. There's a performance starting at 6 p.m. The organ console will be on stage. We're working on some mild pyrotechnics and smoke. You can wow. see the organ there to bring the organ up out of the elevator lift that used to be there. It's really where, organ joke, we're pulling out all the stops. Oh, bada boom. That's okay, a if good I one. fit in. We're really, we're, we're going to make this be a performance to, to remember, and it's the organ will be on stage, center on display. You know, a lot of people say, oh, the organ, it's kind of gone away, but that's not true. A lot of people still play the organ. Well, and especially something like this, like this is a Wurlitzer theater organ that's being put back in. So obviously you have thousands of pipes that you'll see that are going to be installed in the walls of the theater, as well as a variety of percussion instruments. So the organ itself can play all these pipes, but it can play snare drum castanet cymbals. So as you hear this, this performance, it literally is an organ playing its own kind of orchestral sound. That's amazing. And you know, looking at those pipes, some of those pipes are just huge, while other ones, like, you could just pick up with your little fingers. It, exactly. It literally is. Some of them are as small as a quarter, and some of them are, are multiple feet long. And again, they're buried in the walls of the Warner Theater. That you, you won't be able to see the pipes, but man, with the thousands oh. we're putting in, you'll be able to hear them. Unbelievable what a sound that's going to make. Hey, let's show everyone the uh, details on this. The Mighty Wurlitzer's grand debut, September 9th at the Warner Theater, beginning at 6 p.m. And of course, join uh, Steve Weiser and musical director Daniel Mayer in celebration of this newly installed organ. There's also going to be a, a world-class performance by Dave Wicker. There's going to be an open bar and light perform uh, refreshments available. Uh, what watts are you using for the lights? Uh, any? <laughs> See, that's good. I that's had to good. throw my joke in there, okay? <laughs> Ah, uh, if you'd like some ticket info, just head to eeriefill.org or call that number, 814-455-1375. Steve's joke was a lot better than you. You get it. It's light refreshments. They're light, light bulb. They're light refreshments. Yes. I get it now. It's good. It took you a few minutes, but that's okay. It, it, it was a bright idea. We like understand. It. Steve, as <laughs> always, thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks, Steve. My a pleasure. lot of good stuff going on with Philharmonic.